Hi everybody. So, you want a tight tummy. This video is about why your workout matters, okay? So if you're not doing the workouts that are going to benefit you most and be efficient and get you those results, then you're wasting your time. If you're doing cardio, endless amounts of cardio, and you're hoping that your tummy's going to get tighter, it's not. You might lose weight at first, your tummy might still have that soft appearance, a little flatter, but it's not going to be that tight tummy that you're wanting to, you're going after. All right, so a lot of women make the mistake of just going running for hours at a time, you know, multiple times a week trying to get that tight tummy, and then they just never see their body changes. A lot of times, too, if you're a runner, you know, women are running this, you know, 30 plus miles a week, what's happening is it's kind of the same principle as in the, you know, olden days when we would go, you know, kill our food and then we would, our metabolism would slow down and then we wouldn't get to, you know, eat for a few days so that our, we'd go in fat storing, you know, because your body was kind of stressed out, didn't know it was going to eat again. Well, it's the same thing as when you're running for over an hour, your body at some point, your kind of metabolism starts to slow down because it's like, all right, we don't know if she's ever going to stop running again, I better start reserving some fuel. So you get that kind of reaction where you're starting to get the more stressed out reaction and your body's releasing cortisol, which is getting stored in your fat and then you're... You know, it's that vicious cycle of inflammation that's going on. So you want, so it's that fine line between incorporating running into your training, but if you're not doing any resistance training at all, you're really um, not going to see the results that you want. You have to include resistance training into your program. Uh, if you have the more muscle you get, the stronger you are, the leaner your body will appear. Women can't bulk up. That's a myth. So I don't care how many push-ups you do, you're not going to get some big bulky body, all right? It's, you know, it's your genetics, it's just not going to happen for us, all right? So you want to be maximizing your workouts. If you're not including those short, fast workouts uh, into your routine, you're missing out. Those short, intense bursts of speed, whether you're doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, I have those as many rounds as possible workouts that I do, those are only 10 minutes, but those are a big metabolic boost. Your metabolism will be boosted for up to 48 hours after that, okay? Because those short bursts of intensity have been proven to raise your metabolism for 48 hours longer. Not to mention, you're not going to plateau because we are constantly adding different workouts. You're constantly challenging your time when I give you those 10 minute challenges because you're doing as many rounds as possible and the next time I give you that workout, you're going to try to beat that. So the program's designed so that you're not going to plateau, you're going to keep that metabolism up, your body is going to respond better to the carbohydrates, not to mention those short bursts of exercise like that that are no greater than 20 minutes. What that does is it also regulates your blood sugar. And regulating your blood sugar and insulin has everything to do with weight loss. I have a whole blood sugar workshop on that, so that's a whole other topic, but um, if you've been to that and you or you purchased it or you, you um, didn't get to come to it but you got to purchase it afterwards and then see it online, um, you know what I talked about that it's so important for weight loss as far as insulin goes. Um, if your insulin's out of whack, then it's a cycle. It's a vicious cycle of hormones and everything's disrupted. Your cortisol gets kicked in your leptin, your ghrelin, every, all those big hormones that aid in fat loss, you're all out of whack. So. You have to make sure that you are controlling your blood sugar levels. And I'm not just talking about for diabetics. If you're carrying on any weight that you don't want, it's probably it has to do, it's hormonal, okay? So by choosing certain foods that are going to help regulate your blood levels, you can aid and boost your fat loss, all right? So we have a tight tummy challenge that's coming up. Uh, I have put my heart and soul in this. I keep saying that because it's so true. It's going to be a six-week challenge. It's going to be our tight tummy six-week summer slim down. Okay, so I've got workouts that I'm specifically putting together this program that is going to whittle your middle. We're going to really focus on our core. And is if you've ever heard me say, you can't just do isolated, you know, abdominal moves and expect to get that tight tummy because you could have a six-pack underneath, and if you're not doing workouts that are going to burn that fat you're going to still have that fat layer over your stomach. So uh, you can do you know, those moves all day long. It doesn't matter. And crunches, if you're doing crunches, please, dear gosh, just stop doing crunches because they are, it puts your back at risk for injury and there's much more efficient moves that you can do. So I'm putting this all into my program, um, including the nutritional coaching. So I'll put the details below. If you have any questions, please let me know. And please make sure to leave your comments below. Um, you can subscribe to our channel. We have our Smoothie 101 guide available as well. So you can always get that. We like to say thank you for following us and listening to us uh, and getting to see what we do.